So today we are back at Luxury Jewels of Beverly Hills with our dear friend Peter Sedgi. He called me, he said he's got some watches that we haven't seen before, which is kind of difficult to say because we show a lot of watches. And on top of that, some amazing deals on some Rolexes. So without further ado, Hello, hello, hello. How are you, Peter? Always good, and yourself? Good to see you. You're always looking so sharp, man. You know, trying, you know, trying before Adam I, says no, some... No shoes I haven't seen before. And you probably never want to see them again, right? <laughs> <laughs> you said it. No, actually, the, the, you could pull it off. I wouldn't Go be able on, to pull say that something, off. say something. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm, I'm being good today. I'm not going to say they look like something from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you probably don't even know what board Do the is. video alone. Bye bye. I'm out. <laughs> What's up, buddy? All right, what watches have you got to show us here? Uh, so you've got some unique pieces. Yes. Stuff that you say we haven't seen before. Well, I can, I've never seen that, and I've never seen that. Something a little bit different than we normally do. So th those are the deal watches. We're going to do a blowout like we did last time because all your support from all your fans. Well, that's so kind. That really is kind. So let's start. What have we got? Where do you want to start? I want to know what's in here. So this is a Jaeger watch was made for Austin Martin. Huh. Oh, that's weird. There's a cool feature to this. So this is a chronograph. Where's the chronograph buttons? Here? Nope. Here? Nope. Help me out. On the back. Nope. The crystal itself. The crystal? Correct. You see the slide over here? You're right. When it's all the way on top, it's on lock. So okay. move it all the way down. Okay. Push the 12 o'clock. Oh my God, that's weird. How do you stop it? Push the 12 o'clock. Then if you put it in the middle setting, push the six o'clock, reset How it. How weird is that? Oh, that's cool. It's very cool. Huh? All right, let's do that again. So this goes to the bottom. Correct. Will this focus on that, Adam? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna press the crystal. And the chronograph starts. And then press it again at the top to stop Correct. it, right? 12 o'clock. And then slide it down. Put it in the middle setting. Middle setting. Push the six o'clock. Resets the watch. That's really cool. I've never seen anything like I that before. So the, I, I haven't seen this either. The gentleman brought it in just a couple of weeks ago and, and I had to buy it. Okay, so uh, how much is it? It's not as much. What would you think it is? Well, it's a Jaeger. Jaeger, yeah. Jaeger Le Couch. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce is that it. Is that no, I think it's Is yeah. it really? That's how they do it. Yeah, Jezier. Okay, so it's a skeletonized or semi-skeletonized chronograph that you operate through the glass. Does it have date on there? No date? Okay. I'm going to guess 30 grand. No, they, they run like between 12 to 15,000. Really? Uh-huh. What would you have guessed? I, up with what you were suggesting. Yeah. And the, this I'm asking for 10.5. Really? Yeah. 10.5? Yeah. That's that's actually surprising. That very, is like very the perfect collector's watch. When no, really, has like it really a wide is. Range, right. That would be awesome. I, I'm thinking of keeping it for myself. Yeah. That's amazing. I just need to ask the Martin now. <laughs> well, 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 I had one. I sold it. I had a convertible. Yeah, that was a nice yeah. car. So what year is this? Uh, good question. Off the top of my head, I don't know, but I believe it's within the past four or five years. Okay, all right, so it's fairly new. Then. I actually have the paper somewhere for it. I well, tell you. you can let us know, and then I'll okay. have Stephen put it right here on the screen. Try to open the box. Try to open the box. There's a button on the back. This this thing, this thing right there. This is the button? Yeah. Oh, you got it. How about that? You got it. It has a plaque inside. What does it say? What does that say? Uh, it says limited series specifically, so specially handcrafted by Jaeger or Jaeger for Aston Martin. Well, so when he first brought in the box, we had such a difficult time opening it. Try opening it now when it's down. <laughs> That's a security feature. Because it's hinged. Can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Different watch companies throughout the years have made watches for Ferrari. This one in particular is Panerai for Ferrari. They had them in different colors uh, with the red, the yellow. What do you think of that, Adam? You'd wear that. I would. I, I'm a Should bit your weird. Your colors. I, it, yeah, it kind of does. I'm a bit weird though about like branded watches for, for like car brands. And I know we just saw that Aston one, uh -huh. that's kind of cool. 
there's just something about it that I always feel like it's a bit cheap. And I know that's wrong because like the Jacob Bugatti, Bugatti obviously Two million dollars. I know, but I don't know, I'm just weird. Like if that was just a Panerai without the Ferrari badge, I would like it 10 times more. Really? Yeah. But it's fun, how much is it? This one has box papers, everything, it's 5,500. See, again, that's not that expensive. No, it's a, not. A, it's a Panerai, no. and B, it's a Ferrari Panerai. So, if this was just a Panerai without the Ferrari, it's worth more money. Right. Really? That's bizarre. Well, because it's a very niche audience, right? Like, you either have to have a Ferrari or really like Ferrari in order to wear that. I guess. I mean, personally, I wouldn't wear this watch. I, I, and I'm a Ferrari guy. And no, I, no. I, I, I would not wear this watch. See, would you wear it well, if it didn't have the Ferrari badge? No. Okay. I, I, I don't find it attractive, appealing for me. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's, it's kind of a strange shape. It's neither torneau shape nor round nor I don't know what it is. It's just not my thing. But some people love these. They do. They do. What are all of the pushes on there? What's the function? And I'll tell you okay, what so the name you is. You get the chronograph, and I think you get a split second chronograph on there. So it's a split second chronograph. I think. Believe it or not, I don't With know. With an about R. This one. So it's a, a writ second chronograph. <laughs> Who so cares? 5,500 bucks. 5,500 bucks. So before we get onto the next yes. unusual piece, let's do a bargain watch. So you said you've got bargain watches, yes. and it's these, right? Correct. Okay, so this one is the back girl correct and very sought after does this come with box and papers this one has papers no box but we could always throw in a box and how much are you going to blow this out for uh below my cost once again because for your audience sixteen thousand. that's ridiculous that's ridiculous now i would normally say i will buy this but i'm not going to because a lot of comments said last time i bought a yeah watch correct it. correct I that's not remember. fair so in all fairness i'm not going to buy it that is a bargain 16 grand. 16 grand. With papers. With papers. With card. You can't buy it either, Adam. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's go back to the strange stuff. No, oh, this will blow your mind, Adam. Oh, God. So we. we <laughs> can... Oh, God. Was that a good old God or a bad old? <laughs> Not really. Why? Not we can a good old Not agree a good old just like this watch. So, so, okay, so first and all, he, know, almost, he knows this watch. Yeah, first and foremost, it's a Richard Meal. Correct. So, if, I mean, G Shock stuff. Trash. <laughs> oh, but, 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 but. There's nothing trash about a G-Shock. That's true. That's true. Sorry. 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 Richard Meal. Trash. No. It, it's so light. It feels it, like a Mickey Mouse watch. It tell. Yeah. It's exactly. And it tells the time. It does nothing else. It has a strange shape about it. Pull the uh, the crown. Oh wait. These are buttons, aren't they? Oh no, they're not. No, they're fake. They're they're uh, guards. They're fake chrono buttons. <laughs> okay. Let me guess. 150 grand for. Something. No, they're going for way more. How much? Online, you see them asking 300, 350, 400. Um, it's closer to 300. Explain it. Explain I, why I, the I money can't. Is. I can't. Okay, so let me ask you a question. And this is not me being biased. Total honesty, what do you think this costs to make? I, I don't know, but it's. I, I feel bad saying this. They're not the greatest watches. No, far from One that. thing I, I don't like about any of the Richard Miller is the buckles. The buckles look so... And they feel... Oh, gosh, that is awful. So, the interesting thing is, there's a lot of the Chinese look-alike watches. Yes, they, they do a better job of the buckle. On the buckle, yes. I mean, and they feel the same. Actually, yeah. they feel better for the most part. But explain I, to me the cost. What so, would you say it costs to make? Listen, the cost is different. It's the time that goes into making the movement. These movements aren't easy to make. Right, but what would you say? Just the parts and everything. Thousand so bucks, fifteen hundred bucks. Okay, I think you're being generous. But let's say, let's say, a watchmaker spends a month making this. Okay. Right, it doesn't. It's probably a few days. But let's say. No, let's, it takes more than a month. But go ahead. It does. Okay, how long? Yeah. Uh, on this specific model, I don't know. So some of these movements take months and months and months. Sometimes they, they work on them for years. How many watches do they make a year? I don't know. What would you guess? I have no idea. I'm going to guess a couple of thousand. Right? So if it's a couple of thousand, how many watchmakers would they need <laughs> if they took months to I make? They would need tens of thousands of watchmakers. So that brings me back to there are a few, few days to make it, right? Let's say the watchmaker makes 10 grand a month. Let's say it takes six months, that's $60,000. How is this watch ever $300,000? So four or five years ago, you couldn't give these. Give these away. I know. That's when I bought the ones that I have. Yeah. Couldn't give them I, away. I think you bought a rose gold one for me a long time ago. I did. 
And I think it was and you couldn't sell it. Nobody yeah, I, I think it. I think it was like sixty, sixty-five thousand back then. RM11. Yeah, well, RM11 exactly. Yeah. Now, now we can't keep it in stock. The only reason I have had this is because I had it for one day. This will go in a few days. If I end up dead, shot Richard Meal shot me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a demonstration of the wonderful movement. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's set this at exactly the, at the thirty, right? Yeah. When I push the crown in. Oh, it stayed there. That's, that's sometimes, a miracle. Sometimes it stays, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it, it jumps. jumps. Sometimes it jumps. Let's try it again. Ready? That jumped. Look where it is now. It's behind there. So the other thing that I noticed, pull the crown out. Oh, it jumped again. And then very slowly turn the crown about a quarter of a turn either direction and look at how much play there is in the crown itself I'm before... Turning, I'm, I'm turning it. It's not even moving. Right. Look at, look at that. It's not even moving. I, that's what I found. I know you don't like them. I've never had real hands but, but, on but them. But watch, watch again. Watch, watch how much I'm turning this and the hand's not even moving. I know. And there it goes. And do you know the name of this one? Johan Blake. There you go. Sorry. Sorry too. Sorry, Sorry. Johan. <laughs> <laughs> the fact also that I went to Richard Mille to buy watches and they wouldn't sell me them after I was a big supporter when nobody wanted them didn't help that I don't like them anymore. Really? Yeah. That really happened? Yeah, really happened. Yeah. You were always a supporter from day one. Yeah, and that's... You, know, you bought the one that I couldn't sell to anyone. There you go. Anyway, let's move on. Let's go to the whole the cheapest one out of them all. Well, I should say least expensive. So this is a Cartier Santos. Okay. It's, a, it's an older one. Steel and gold, right? Yeah, two-tone. Usually you don't see them in a chronograph. The chronograph pushes are huge. Never seen that before. So I've had them in a chronograph before very few times, but the subdials are circles, like most uh, subdials for chronographs. These are squares. Interesting. Also has a date. Even more interesting. Correct. When, when I, this is not one of those when I saw I said I had to buy. So this is not an expensive watch. No, not at all. Let me guess. Four grand. A little more than that. 55. 55. Okay. Nice watch. Very unusual. And it's, it's amazing, uh, watch, modern watch market has crashed a lot. Some of them have stabilized. The vintage ones, there's always collectors for them. Those haven't been infected by the crash. Now, I, again, I think this is something that you could never lose money on, right? No, you no, could never lose no. money on. Let's go back to the deals. All right. Okay, can I pick one? Of course. Let's pick this guy. Pepsi. This is a vintage Pepsi, right? Correct. Uh, I believe this one is from, actually it's not that old, I think it's, 1993 or 2003, I forgot. One or the other. Straighten out. There we go. Michael's OCD. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it's funny, some days I go around fixing them too from all the watches in the case. It bothers right. me too. Beautiful watch. What's the deal on this one? Uh, this one has papers. Um, I'll do it for 12.5. That's really inexpensive. We sell a lot of these because it's it's beautiful watch and uh, it's good price point for today's market. Twelve five, with and, papers. Yeah, no holes and it's very clean. Yeah, so a lot a of the older one. ones have the holes on the side, which uh, was able to get the bracelets off and on. Now it's from behind. Frank Muller, what does that say? I can't see. Underneath. I think Chron the red. Chronograph. No, I think it's the Casablanca, if I'm correct. Is it Casablanca? Is it Casablanca? No, it's the chronograph. Yes, it's chronograph. Chronograph, yeah. okay. None of us have I'm, decent eyes I, here. I, I, I read it's it It's not right. that I actually know these things because I'm in the business. That's a 78CCCAT, Master of Complications. There you go. That's exactly That's what, what it I is. That's what I thought, actually. So these are a great watch. I, you know, I, I've always been a big fan of Frank Mueller's. The just movements are fantastic. Movements are fantastic, beautiful styling, but they've just... Let me try market something. market has tanked on these. Let me see something. Let's see what this does when you when you press it. Let's put it on the one. Look at that, solid as a rock. No jumping, nothing. And how much play is there in the crown? There isn't. Zero. And this is a chronograph Zero. with Zero. See, that's a proper movement. Yeah. Let me guess. 10 grand. No, the, these are much less. Uh, I don't remember. This is 6,500. What would you rather have, guys? <laughs> a movement or a non-movement? <laughs> Let me do this again. I have to do it just for the fun of it. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Oh, did you get that, Adam? <laughs> oh, did you get that, Adam? <laughs> 300 grand. Okay. <laughs> Plus the weight, the weight gets me. Yeah. When, when, when you wear it, 
at least for me, if you're buying a nice, expensive watch, you want to feel it on your wrist. This, right? this is like nothing. I know. I know. You want to skip to a lady's watch? Let's skip to a lady's watch. That's a beautiful watch. I love this watch. It's one of the new Cartier models. And this is factory diamonds? Factory diamonds, rose gold. What does this sell for? This one is 27,000. That's less than I thought it would be. Yeah, so Cartier makes another model called the Crash, which is similar to this. You know which model I'm talking about? No. So it sort of looks like the dolly clock that's melting. Yes, yes, I've seen that. So those, I used to had maybe five, six of them 10 years ago. They were selling for 10, 12, 15,000. Now they're anywhere from 150,000 all the way over a million. Are you serious? Yes. That's crazy. And it's similar concept, even though, it, you know, the different watches, but. Let's do this one. Steel and gold Submariner. That dial's gorgeous. Gorgeous dial. Okay, what's the blowout deal on this one? No papers. No papers. 10.5. No Four way. Really? Yeah. Can I still not buy them? No. 10.5? No. <laughs> For steel and gold? Correct. It's not. This it's, is the new case. No, this is not the new case. This is, Which is the case without the holes correct. in it. Correct. Uh, I'll show you the new case. I think I have one. 10.5, Adam? That's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. I will bet you that this will be sold very quickly. <laughs> These so, videos go up at 8 a.m., so you'd better be at your phone. And that, last time our phone rang off the hook from the second we got here. I bet. So this is a newer case. It's got the plastic on it. Well, sorry, it has, it has the ceramic, but they make a newer one now. They make a 41 millimeter. This is a 40 millimeter. This is a 40 millimeter. Do you know what? I think I prefer this. So do I. I do too. I, I so do, do too. I. I. It looks, it pops more. I, I prefer this myself as well. I think the uh, hour markers are slightly too big on this one. I think on the new, new one, they've made it smaller again. You got a new, new one? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah, everything. Yeah. everything. 10, five? That's insane. Steel and gold Submariner? I didn't even think you'd get just a stainless steel sub for 10. I, I, I didn't either. That's beautiful. It's like new. Look at yeah. the condition of it. No, it is. Beautiful. I might call up and give him a fake name. <laughs> be there seven, seven, fifty-nine and fifty-nine exactly. seconds. And yeah, yeah. So I got a forty-one millimeter, but in the all stainless. Okay, so this. Let's put so that this one is there. forty. This is forty. That's forty-one. So these are slightly smaller than that one, but bigger than this one. Correct. Amazing. I do. And like how much is that one? one? Uh, this one is 16.5. Huge difference, 10.5. Yeah, and these are uh, thicker cases too compared to the vintage ones. You see? So how old is this one I'm holding? About. This one is Z Serial uh, 2008. 2008. Z Serial, I believe it's 2008. 2006, excuse 2006. me. 2006. Yeah, so this is not an old one. This is, this is actually a 2010. Okay. Beautiful. So for the and sake of two years, you're saving five grand? Six. Six grand. Yeah, you How much is yeah. this one? This one with card, box, everything, 2023, it's 15.5. 15.5 like and the gold is 10.5. I can't get over that. Well, the, the, keep in mind that two-tone Daytona versus stainless, so you could buy two-tone Daytonas in the high teens, low 20s, the stainless ones are in the 30s. Famous day date. That's lovely. 41 millimeter, right? Correct. With a diamond hour marker. Original diamond dial. And these are discontinued because they make the 40 millimeter. The 40, yeah. That's really nice. Beautiful watch. How much is this one? That one is 39.5. It's actually a very good price for what it is. Is it? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how much these, the 41s go for, so yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't sound crazy. And it's got the original diamond dial. Correct. Papers? Uh, this one does not. Does not. I should have three of these. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> they sell. You should make it a bit cheaper for, uh, for the audience. Um, <laughs> th this one actually paid more. The other two, I could do one for 36.5 and uh, I'll do one for 36.5 with the original diamond dial as well. So it looks the same? Yeah. There you go. All right. And then we have one last watch, which is that one. I think the, we already did that one. No, no this one. We no, did, we did, did, we did, we did, did the Batman? We did, we did the Batgirl. Bat girl. So, and the Batman. So they're other, identical other than the bracelets, right? Correct. So the Jubilee, they call the Batgirl. The Oyster, they call the Batman. So these are gorgeous. Okay. 
What's the blowout deal on this one? 15,000. No way. Yeah, it has a cart too. Um, on some of these, honestly, I'm taking losses on. It's for, it's for your, for that your is, audience. That is amazing. I mean, that, that it really is amazing. Listen, you've done a lot for us and the, your audience have been very supportive of us. So in return for this, guys, please support Peter. And he's doing this for you guys because you've given him the support when he was he was broken into and robbed here. Yeah, you, you have no idea till this day how much support we get from your from your audience. Really. Well, that's amazing. There, isn't it? And there's just, there's not a day that goes by that someone doesn't come in, call, buy something from your audience. Really? Yeah, that's amazing. Well, thank you for doing no, this. No, my thank pleasure. You for, for, for giving back, uh, guys. That's it, right? Yeah. No, I got tons of more. So I can keep going. Call him. All his <laughs> info will be in the description. You know what to do. Buy a watch, you need to be quick. We're in it to win it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Go shopping on the Producer Michael channel. Actually, there's not a whole, not channel, website. There's not a whole lot there anymore, is there? No, but there's some good deals. There's yeah. some good deals. You need to fill it up, Adam. <laughs> I, I, I always go on there. You always have stuff on there. I know, we took a lot of it down. Since when? I was on there last week, had a whole bunch of stuff. Did you buy stuff? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I, I, I buy it to support you. I, I bought it. I bought your cologne. I bought a couple of your shirts. Do you like the cologne? Very much. It's good, Very isn't much. it? I always get compliments on it. So you know it's turning into an ad. Keep going. I like that. <laughs> I swear this is not set up. No. No, I, 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 I get stopped for it all the time. Really? Yeah. Yeah, people enjoy it and, yeah. and I, I'm glad that it's so popular. Yeah. But uh, we thank you for the support and this is The Real Cheerio. Bye.